what's up kicker squad and welcome back to my channel i am doing up butterfly locks today as you could see i have to do this video super fast this is what they look like i've already done some because i wanted to test out this method to ensure that i know what i was doing so this is what it looks like from now I am going to show you how to achieve a butterfly lock really simple so first you just part your hair I think I have about 20 plaits so you just part your hair any way you want to actually braid them and then you get a crochet pin or crochet needle and you attach it there and I am using the hair that I use for my passion twist, which is the Fritress, I think it's water wave hair. So these were my passion twists that I am just reusing. So you just undo them, kind of distress them a bit or fluff them out. And then you add it to your hair you pull it through then you find a good length you want the braiding hair to be a little longer excuse me than your natural hair so my hair ends here so the braid would be a little longer than my natural hair which is about right there and then you just start to twist the longer hair around itself twist you twist hair about three times to ensure that it stays nice and tight and then you work your way down. After that, you are going to use your index finger right here, and you are going to wrap the braid around your index finger to create a bump or a lump. And then you continue braiding down for the lump. Continue braiding down. Then you do this again. Use your finger. Some people use a thumb. I'm using this one to create a bump. And then you twist below the bump so that the bump shows. That is what's going to give you the distressed or butterfly look. Let's do it again. Use your finger. Take this and do it around your finger. That's the bump. And then you just continue twisting below it. And then you twist. Going down. Twist, twist. Create bumps as you twist because you want that distressed look. And then when you are at the end or near the end you take this piece and you fold it upward and then you take your hair that's remaining and wrap it around the end just wrap it around the end and then walk your way going up and you could do this stress going up as well so you put your finger there to create the bump and then you walk upward put your finger to create the bump and then you walk upward and then you just keep twisting upward upward until there's no more hair and then you just do that and that's your lock that is your lock right there so let's do another one let's do this one 
So let's go again and have your braiding hair. I braided these last night. So attach your crochet. Get one of your passion twist hair. Unravel it. And then you're going to take you kind of distress it some. You kind of distress it, it's a problem solo, I'm sorry. And then you are going to put this in the needle. Oh. So let's try that again. Put the hair in the needle. And then you have this is my hair, so I'm going to make the braid a little longer, like about there. And then I'm trying to get a And then you pull it through. So you ensure that the hair, the piece of hair, is longer than your actual hair. And then you start twisting at the root about three to four times. And then you walk your way down. Then you start to distress. Take your finger and wrap the hair around your finger so this creates like a bump. And then you continue twisting below the bump because you want the bump to show. You're not doing a regular full lock, you're doing a distressed or butterfly full lock. So wrap it around your finger to create the bump. And then you begin twisting below the bump you just continue to wrap wrap take your finger wrap around the finger to create the bump or the distressed look okay last it so wrap around your finger to create the distressed look and then twist below it so just continue twisting 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 and twist it up and then you take the end now and you and you just twist upward until you have no more hair now the hair is going to be stiff when you're all done so you can add mousse or hot water to it so I'm going to finish these off camera and show you the final look Okay, so this is the final look of the butterfly braids. I hope the tutorial was simple, easy to follow. It was really simple and easy to follow. Um, my final thoughts on this. If you are a beginner, the free stress, or free stress, whatever the name of the braid is, I think this is Water Wave. It was a bit challenging because it was starting to get me really, really, really annoyed while doing them. But after I kind of got a hang of it, um, I used two kind of braiding hair. If I can remember, I'll link them in the description box below. And it took me about a little over an hour and I have about 20 um, 
distressed braids in my hair so 20 butterfly locks in my hair so this is i guess could constitute as jumbo so this is the look i hope you guys like it definitely try it out love you and have a good day god bless <laughs>